business succeeds when everyone in it is constantly asking tough questions and always challenging the status quo, always wanting to get better, always learning, growing. One of the best people I ever hired at David's T was uh, our head of marketing. She was our vice president of marketing at the time we went public. And uh, her name was Stephanie. And I hired Stephanie roughly about a decade ago. I hired her to be my admin assistant. I hired her off Craigslist, which was an online job posting site at the time, which doesn't seem to be as popular these days. But, um, and Stephanie was, was extremely bright, very well read, very ambitious. Uh, and she took a keen interest in marketing. Because at the time, we were just starting out. And when you're starting out, everybody's the chief cook and bottle washer. And you all wear different hats. And so Stephanie uh, worked with our marketing agency, which was a great agency. They were a Swedish design firm. They had just moved back to Montreal. And uh, they were helping us. It was a husband-wife team that had a big group back in Sweden. But they were looking for a smaller project now that they had moved back. Uh, and it was just perfect timing. And so Stephanie was working with them, and she was just soaking up knowledge about marketing like a sponge. And she went on to be, as the company grew, she was a marketing coordinator, then she became a marketing director. And then she got to a point where she was really strong, but she just didn't have the experience in the background. And we kept bringing in people above her to be her boss. Um, and many of those, we actually went through about 10 different people before we found the, you know, we never, actually, she ended up being the right fit. But, we went through a lot of people from the outside that didn't work out. And Stephanie didn't suffer fools easily. And, and every time we did this, it was hard for her. You know, she, she was a devastating blow to her ego. And for most people, they wouldn't be able to handle it. Here she was. She had been there at day one. And we kept bringing in people, one after the other, who she knew she was better than. But she had to suck it up. But Stephanie had a phenomenal attitude. She kept coming to work every single day. And she said to herself, look, I may think that I'm more qualified for this position, but I'm going to focus on learning something new every single day that I come to work. And I'm going to keep showing up. And of course, Stephanie went from being an admin assistant to a marketing coordinator to a marketing director to the vice president of marketing for David's Tea to now my partner in a new retail business that we're starting up together. 